Mm. Hey guys, we're back in the long dark, or the long cold, or the really big freaking cold. <laughs> Anyway, I just woke up. It's in the morning. I have survived one day, 17 hours and 38 minutes. I like it how they, they tell you, you know, <laughs> this is how bad it really is. So apparently it's like the crack of dawn. Okay, one hour is darkness left. We need food. Um, what have I got? Banged up pork and beans, peaches and pork and beans and tomato soup. I love tomato soup. I love pork and beans. Coffee is great. Peaches are okay and warmed up. You can pretend it's peach cobbler. I have a soda and uh, a little bit of cardboard. <laughs> I have books for fire. Oh, yay. And then the things I'm wearing. Okay. Um, hmm. What do I want? Do I want to start a fire? You know what? I'll take the, of course, if I take the pork and beans, or take the pork and beans, take the lid. Uh, actually, let's see. Now I want to... Where's my beans? I want to open them. I don't want to... Oh, they're cold. Yeah, but we need to... Uh, we probably want to warm these up. You know what? Let's just close this. We'll start a fire. Ugh, what's the temperature? It's only five. I mean, it's not... It's hardly warm enough to start. Darn. I don't know if I want to do a fire because I'm warm. You know what, I'm just, mm, yeah, just, just open the beans, just open the beans. I mean, yeah, we'll just eat them cold. I love cold pork and beans <laughs> without the little, the bits of what looks like pork. Are you seeing what this says? Because they don't really, you know, they don't really look like, it's not really pork. It's this little piece of fat that they put in. That's all there ever is. And I'm just going to leave the wood pile and work on making it bigger. Put this back. I keep being afraid I'm going to fall through the ice or something like that. And, and that would, I think, be a bad thing. And I would lose all my stuff. Or if you die in the game, I don't. I have no idea what happens. So I don't want to do any of those things. Oh, look. I got my fancy. I'm getting saved today shoes. I like it. This is good. Okay, so we put clothes in there. What's in the bottom one? Nothing. How's about we put in our, our things for fire setting? I just don't want to carry all this stuff with me. Going out for the day, muck in a boot, tinder plugs. If I get cold enough, you hoo. <laughs> On the other hand, what if I get really cold and have to stay out overnight? Ah, there's a the thing, huh? Okay, I'll keep this much. I, this, I don't... I don't know what I would use that for, but I keep feeling like maybe there's something. I will carry that with me, absolutely. That's important. The little checky things are what I'm wearing. I do have a few calories. I've got something to drink. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wilderness Kitchen. Have I read Wilderness Kitchen? Do I know this? Research. Okay. I, you, 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 you. I will, I'll do this tonight. When we get back, in the little cabin, eh? When I get back to the cabin, we will we'll do some reading tonight in front of a fire. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. It's like all the cozy and things. It'll be good. So what's it like outside? Woof, 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 woof. I had a wolf once. Did I tell you guys that? I owned a wolf once. It was kind of cool. <laughs> Called him Kelty. Ah, crap a do, and we've got a snowy day. It's going to be dark. What's the temperature? Ah, uh, it's not bad. Feels like minus 15. Well, that doesn't, yeah, no, that's not horrid. Look, it's barely blowing. But snow, ah, makes it hard to see things. You get lost. And I keep, go, 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 run up in the hill. Tookie, tookie, too. la, 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 la. <laughs> Actually, we'd be trudging through snow, right? It'd be crunch, crunch, crunch. Yeah, so this fellow I, I worked with, oh, look, you know, you know. No, I'm not going to shoot him because I don't have anything to shoot with, but I don't have a gun, right? I don't think I have a gun. Um, you can snare deer. Like I said, it's not legal in most places. It's not legal in any place that I know of, but you can snare deer. I'm gonna follow him and end up lost. I'm, he can't go that way. Ooh, or is something chasing you? No. 
Foiled. Foiled. Could, oh, I'm too slow. I was just thinking if, if wolves got to him, I need to herd him out onto the ice where I saw the wolves, right? Because if wolves got to him, then I could scare the wolves off and has free food. <laughs> There is an, um, an achievement in the game. I think it's 25 days without killing anything, and I don't think that's going to happen to me because I keep being tempted to go fishing far too quickly, and I have tracks. I wouldn't get lost, right? If I'm following tracks, I won't get lost. Which way do we go? There's home. So when I get to a place that's got, oh, man, what's the temperature? Yeah, it's getting a wee bit cold. Just a wee bit. <laughs> Look, it's minus 26. It's like a nice normal day in the winter of Northern Ontario. Yeah, so anyway, this um, this fellow in my life, I we'd been dating for a few years and we worked together as well. We had a company and uh, we were buying a, what the hell was it? Why were we down there? We were in Southern Ontario for something. Uh, a portable sawmill. It was a portable sawmill. It was first way in Canada, by the way. And it was this thing you could just like put behind the truck and you could drive it around. And, and a portable sawmill is a really cool thing in Northern Ontario because everybody cuts all their trees down. So you can just take your sawmill to their, their farm or their yard or their garden, whatever, and um, they can just chop it and you, you know, you're there to just like slice it into lumber or whatever it is they need. and you can just pile the lumber and then you leave, right? So it was great. It's a really good idea. And we were in Southern Ontario getting training on how to use the thing and picking up the first, like said, first one in Canada. Yeah. And um, at, at any rate, we were on the way back and we had stopped. We were down this back road sightseeing because he was much of a wanderer as I was. And uh, we saw this, it's like Ben Breakfast and Wildlife Park or something. So we pulled in to stay there and they had wolves. They had timber wolves that they had picked up from somewhere. I mean, quite legally and everything. You couldn't, you couldn't keep a, a timber wolf, like a local wolf or something without certain papers and things. But these had been bought somewhere far, far away and, and brought here to Ontario. So that apparently those were legal. And um, I didn't know it, but he'd made arrangements to buy me one, <laughs> which was kind of cool. So these, these things weren't, they weren't wild, but they weren't, they weren't tame exactly either. So we have, we have train tracks. I like it. What's my temperature like? I'm getting a little cool. Minus 27, winds blowing. 12 hours of daylight, except we haven't actually seen any daylight yet. But, you know, that's okay. Ooh. I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm sorry. Hey, Fred. Ah, oh, Fred, you've been looted already. <gasps> Is that a knife? Nobody needs this Ooh, anymore. Oh, I has. I has a thing. And nothing else. Can I pick that up? A hunting knife. I used to have a little one just a lot like this, except my handle was prettier. It was very cool. I care. Oh, I, I yeah. Never left home without my knife. I mean, out on the farm anyway. But. Yes, yeah, so anyway, he made arrangements to buy me a wolf for my birthday. It was just pretty freaking amazing. So I had it for a good while, and then um, I, got, I got sick at one point, and it, um, it laughed. It, it got out of its cage when I wasn't there to look after it every day. I mean, it was looked after. It just, uh, I guess, I don't know, it left. It decided it didn't want, if I wasn't going to be around, it didn't want to be there anymore. And it, it, I was quite worried about it because it wasn't exactly wild at any anymore. Oh, what is this? Where can I go? Um, mm, but it hung around. Right? It hung around the barn, and I put food out for it every night. And it would, you know, it came in and out, and it would come out to me out in the field and stuff like that. Now that, that part was kind of cool. And you know, over time, I knew it was eating. I, I could see it. I saw it all the time. It, it just, I had a wolf around the place, which is kind of fun. Leave Mystery Lake. You can do this. Ooh, that's a sight. Except I have a cabin. I like my cabin. And I'm sure there must be more I should be looking at in here. I haven't seen hardly any. So it, this is like a whole new forlorn musk egg. Oh, God, that sounds cheerful, doesn't it? 
Okay, I'm just going to have a, a little shifty around the corner here. I'm going back home. I'm not ready to go off into the wild blue yonder just yet. Actually, what I should be doing, though, this vesty bit I have. Can I, can I wear it? Where's the vesty bit? Wasn't there something I picked up that would be warmer than what I have right there? Can I put this on? Actions. Actions. Repair it. Harvest it. I have to repair it. Can I not wear it? Ooh. Well, all right. We'll uh, we'll sort that out. Back to home tonight. Yeah. So he hung around for a long time, and um, you know he did get wilder and wilder as time progressed. Obviously, I'd see him when I was out riding. That was kind of fun. You'd see his tracks everywhere, and then um, and you started getting noticed. You know, people would say, "Geez, we saw a wolf," and he was a lot bigger than anything kind of native to that area. So he just like ruled everything. And I'd see these great big honking wolf tracks all over the place. It was kind of awesome. It was very cool. So we get this whole uh, forlorn place. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not into forlorn just now. We're gonna head back near home. Because it's cold, gur -ur. it's a gur -ur kind of day. It's a typical Northern Ontario kind of day. Look, March at home, oh my God. Yes, let's leave the forlorn muskeg, oh my God. Such cheerful names. So Kelty went wild and ended up being a bit of a legend in the area, which was kind of cool. I, you know, years later, I. I talked to somebody and they'd say, "Man, I was out hiking, you know, on the back." I, I checked all this, right? Uh, on the back end of your property, and and I saw this man. I swear to God, it was like the biggest wolf I've ever seen. It was like, yes, that's my boy. It was cool. It was good. What is that? Nothing I can pick up. Okie dokie. Well, that was exciting. I found a way out of this place to. Um, to a more forlorn place because <laughs> that's something to look forward to. Yep, right there. Now, there is rock. If I just followed the rock, I wouldn't get lost, right? What's, what are we going? Eh, it look cold though, cold and hungry. Dang it. Danger, danger, danger. <sighs> Ooh, <laughs> when, when she makes noise, it always scares me. I am sorry for the power hum that you're hearing, guys. It's actually my, um, it's the, the fan on my, my poor little laptop. It's struggling today. It's having a hard time. It says, you know, you could blow some of that cold air my way, please. But, oh well. Oh well. Uh, wow, had a bad minute there of where the hell's the tracks? That can happen so fast in the, in the bush too. Man, it, it can be... Yeah, it can be. <laughs> Man, it can be. Yeah, so if you ever want to snare deer, <laughs> you need a wire of some sort because you, you want a hoop to stay open. Okay, you've got to make your, your little loop at the end and just take a wire and run it through, just like you would a small one. A small, about this big for rabbits is good. Um, you want to, you know, it's got to be quite large. And you would hang it. You know, you, you find where they run. You can see deer droppings, tracks or something. They often, in this kind of weather, I, mean, I would say go to a top of a hill where there's some sunlight and, and look for them in places like that because you'll see they'll, they'll go up to lay in the sun because they get cold too, right? And you'll see like maybe places where they've laid down or where, you know, the dried grasses and stuff were knocked over or you might just see tracks if you're lucky or or the droppings, I can't feel my hands. It's nothing, sweetie, you'll get used to it. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, let's, you know, I'm, I'm almost afraid to even get off the tracks to go this far for, for logs and stuff. Um, but you, you hang it between a tree. If you can see some place where they kind of go, you get a tree on either side and you kind of hang it in the middle. And I'm not recommending that because I'm pretty sure that wherever you live, it will be illegal. <laughs> But if you're ever starving, okay, that's the thing. If you're in this kind of situation, now you know. Damn. You can snare deer. You can snare a deer if you don't have a gun. Because chasing them is probably not going to work out any better for you than it did for me a few minutes ago. Just saying. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Is this my, the two rocks? 
which should lead to home. <coughs> I just feel like I have to come out and pick up something. I mean, I got some more first aid things. You know, I guess that's good. I got a vest. I, apparently, I'm going to learn to sew. Isn't that cool? You know, I don't want to take all this stuff. Ooh, there he is. That's my boy. Yeah, break it down and get some stuff. I'm freezing. Okay, it's time. And my health is going down like 76% now. I'm, I'm going to have frostbite in the end of my toes. I've had that three or four times. I actually don't know how often, but I've had like frostbite in the end of my toes and then it goes all black and little bits fall off. <laughs> you, you know, sometimes you just don't get home in time. It gets cold outside. Oh, and you wonder why I want to spend my winters in Scotland. <laughs> oh, God. But I always liked being outside. It was always, yeah, I always liked to be outside. So that was good <laughs> for me anyway. So let's get some far in them there bones. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a little, I'm a little numb. <laughs> yeah. I'm comfortably numb. So we can put in, um, put in, do, do, do. let's see, we have one of two. Let's see, we want to put in some of these, and, okay, why is that not going anywhere? Hello? Start fire? 60%. That's not great, but maybe I've done worse, right? This game on, brings back so many memories. <laughs> some of them are quite good, though. <laughs> there was some afternoons by that waterfall. <laughs> oh, God. Being at the top of a ridge one time and finding a whole herd of deer. I actually had followed uh, a doe up the hill. And uh, did it go? Did it go? <sighs> Boiled. Okay, you know what? Let's do, let's do what? Where did I put the things? Woohoo! So, Mm, I love this part. Books burn really well, and this one I want to read. Books Whoa. burn really well. I said that. Did you hear me? I said that, folks. Crap-a-doo. So, there's the book. 60% right off. And then put that up. Um, can I? Oh, 80 with a... No. No, not you. 80% <laughs> if I put some books in there. That's good. You no. This one is not going in. What is this thing doing? No, 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 no. That one goes in. This one does not. Just start a fire, please. I want to put that book in. No accelerant. Okay, start the fire. I haven't burnt my book, have I? Not that one. This one. Okay. Go. I had a bad moment there. <laughs> I'm thinking about that time I was there, and remember the time we started the fire, and we were building the walls inside the barn, and we put the bottle in, yeah, and all this stuff. Come on, little fire. And, yeah. <laughs> I could have a lot of stories playing this game. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. No kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. It brings back a lot of memories. But I like being outside. I like being outside a lot. And in northern Ontario, that means you just have Perfect. to learn, you know, to you just have to learn to get outside and, and be part of the cold and, and not die. Not dying is kind of cool. I like that part myself quite a bit. I think it's totally worthwhile. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Pinnacle peaches. We're just going to have some nice hot peaches. It's going to be great, guys. No, 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 just, just that one. Open. And open it. And more hot peaches. Mmm. It's going to be delicious. I'm, look, all of these things, numb and thirsty and ravenous, should all be taken care of here in just a second. Where's my nice, look, hot, cold. Did we not just cook them? Hello? What? But I thought I cooked my, did the, the fire went out. I didn't add fuel fast enough. Okay, this is just, and this is how you die, okay? I'm just putting that out there. This is what you don't do. 
<laughs> uh, sure, I can take that. What else do I have in here? Sure. Grab a stick. Pick up as another stick. A cedar wood. There we go. Grab one of those. All right. This is how you die in the... You start talking to imaginary people and you die in the cold. I am just saying. That's, that's how this stuff happens. <laughs> Don't do it this way. Oh, God. All right, let's take um, a bit of roll of some darn thing and come back and do this properly. And pay attention this time. So we have, could you, could you, could you? We can add, yeah, that's not gonna do so well for us, is it? <clears throat> With a stick and the last for a second. How, the big, the big, no. 60% with that, 40% with that. Well, all right, let's just start with that. So if I blow it, I don't wreck any. I just get rid of a twig, it's fine. <sighs> Damn, I forgot to put wood in. <laughs> so this is what you don't do when you're out in the cold in Northern Ontario. For real. <laughs> Blimey. Never talk to your imaginary friends. <laughs> Tight. This is not going well for me, is it? I'm just wrecking all the things. I'm using up all this stuff. I'm going to have to go do some serious hunting, but hope the weather changes first because it's cold out there. It's very, very cold. Uh, tinder, cinder, 60% again. I can't do any better than this. 40, 60, 80. Yeah, man, they like using up your books, don't they? I have to read the book, and then I can burn it. Because, <laughs> you know, once you've read a book, you know everything Come that's on, in it, fire. right? God. Come on, little fire. You're sucking up all my matches here. Oh, please go warm your hands. Come on. Blow just a little. Don't blow it out. Blow. Come on. Go. Go. Fan it. Let's go. Do it, do it. Ah ha ha, did it go? Out of fuel. Phew, look at this. Look at this, it's gonna last for, actually add another one, um, and another one. Let's get, let's get good and warmed up. Now we can cook our little foods. They're opened and cook them. I'm not as numb, now I'm just sore. At this point it starts to hurt. <laughs> When you're numb, it's okay. <laughs> oh, God. Now I have hot peaches, folks. Woohoo! Oh, look at that. Quality, high quality hot peaches. Mm. Yummy, yummy. So, what's going on here? I'm cold. I'm tired. I'm still hungry. That didn't do a heck of a lot for me, did it? Well, I guess we could eat the gross stuff. I'm going to have to kill something. I hate that. I don't want to. But peaches, they're not going to last long. It's all water and sugar, let's be honest. Okay, so, no, not to be dropping. What did, what did I drop? Pick it up. Did I drop something? Yes, I did. Hatchets are never to be dropped. Bimbo. Wow. And this is how you die. I think it put put things in here right so I can put these away yes all of them I've got that and that that's okay I thought I had put not in here I've got needle and thread somewhere don't I where did I put them anybody got an idea haha <laughs> look at that we have dressings um no I, I put them somewhere God, this is just like at home. <laughs> there we go. So we can take this, and I'll need a cloth, right? I think I have a cloth upstairs, and I can fix up this um, this vest. I'm going to learn to sew right here in the wilderness, sitting in front of the fire. Oh, my God, it's going to be awesome. Then I'm going to read a book. Yeah, I'm going to take this. Now, what can we do with this? Oh, look at that. Stand in front of the fire. Ooh. It's good. Where's the thing, guys? This one. Actions. Down filled. 
This will be great. Repair it. Can I do this? I'm warm and toasty and did it work? Insufficient materials. It's better than it was. So I just need, I need more cloth again. Is that the thing? Can I fix it more? I don't have any more. Okay, the ragged, car can I take the scarf apart? Is that a thing? Can I like unravel this? Where is it? This is the crap one. Actions, what can I do with this? Harvest. Harvest, 10 minutes. 10 minutes in front of the fire, it's not a bad thing. Except the fire could go out while I'm doing this and that would be a bad thing. Let's see what we have. We still have an hour, we're good, we're good. We've got tons of time. So let's take this and work on its s'mores. Let's make it awesome. I'm still hungry. It didn't, failed. Well, <sighs> can I wear this over anything or with it? What are these little half marks? I wonder what that means. It's wet. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, that's actually really bad. Will they dry here in front of the fire or will I have to take these off? Because I know that's not good. <laughs> crap a do. Can I put the vest on here? I can. So now I have an extra little layer of awesomeness. I don't have anything else. I has my little toque. Shoot. Will these dry? That's something I haven't seen before. Hmm. No, I don't want to stick. I want, well, yeah, these are crap for starting fire. Let's put them in stick, stick, stick. I can know there's other things there, but I can't get to them till I pick up sticks, just like the game, folks. <sighs> she makes noise. I freak out. It happens every time. Adds the fuel. Yeah, just Tuck those in. We get three hours. Okay, so I'm hoping if I stand here nice and close to the fire that my clothing will dry. I have no idea if that's true or not, but let's do some research, shall we? Uh, we had at least two or three hours. Let's research for the two, and then we'll check the fire as you do. <laughs> Drained. You yeah, but you're just reading. Suck it up. Let's check the fire, shall we? We have how long? An hour and, okay, add some more fuel. Two hours and 20 minutes. Let's see if we can't get up over three. Perfect. And then maybe we can finish reading this book. <sighs> I think I need to lay down. Ooh, I know you need to lay down, but work with me. Didn't work, did it? Research already completed. Did it get through all of it? Awesome sauce. And how is the fire doing? We've only got a few more minutes. You know what? Let's just, let's have one decent night, okay? Let's just do one night that it's okay. And what's my clothing doing? I'm dry. Yes. Whew. Wet clothes. You know, you're better off in most cases to just start a fire, even if you're outside, and take your wet clothes off and dry the darn things unless you can stand close enough to the fire or make two fires and stand in the middle because they can tell you when it's this cold, you're standing that close to the fire snow, and you're, and nothing you're getting you know, singed in the eyebrows and stuff like that and your back is freezing. It's, it's cold. Has a drink. You can do her. And I'm really, really tired. How much time left on the fire? Got, I've got an over an hour. You know what? I will go ahead and eat. I just won't eat in the morning. I will eat today. We'll do beans. Or soup. We'll do soup. Mmm, nice warm tomato soup. It's going to be great. I love tomato soup. And beans. I just need to close my eyes. I really like beans. <laughs> cook them. Open them. Cook them, cook them, cook them. Don't let the fire go out. Cook, 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 cooking. Okay, there we go. We have a nice hot tin of soup. Oh, it's 
gonna be so yummy. Look at this, warm and toasty, and I should be in really good shape at this point. Exhausted, oh, I'm still hungry, but you know what, too bad. Too bad, uh, how much sleep? Daylight, we, <laughs> we, let's just sleep right through the night. I'm gonna let her sleep, I'm gonna call this one done. <clears throat> this one as in this recording and uh and then we'll see what tomorrow brings see if it's something fun and exciting so until i see you next time okay simmer down two days 19 hours 13 minutes ah it's exciting until I see you next time, guys, please leave your comments, a thumbs up if you haven't. Please join. Uh, if you want to hang out and be able to chat back while I'm playing games, you can catch me over on Twitch. There is a schedule there. I'm there a few times a week. And uh, thank you to everyone who makes my life possible. Bye-bye.